Ever wondered what's the biggest black hole in the universe? Let's delve into this cosmic enigma. Black holes, these celestial behemoths, are the most massive single objects in space, defying our comprehension with their immense gravitational pull that even light cannot escape. But is there a limit to this cosmic grandeur? The answer lies in the intriguing world of theoretical physics which suggests a possible cap on the size of black holes. Akin to an insatiable cosmic beast, the black hole continues to devour everything in its path until it hits a theoretical wall. This limit is reached when the black hole's feeding frenzy is balanced by the radiation it emits, preventing it from growing indefinitely. And guess what? The largest directly observed black hole, Ton 618, is right around this theoretical limit. This celestial monster weighs approximately 40 billion times the mass of our sun. To grasp its sheer size imagine this, with a radius of over 1,000 astronomical units, if ton 618 was placed at the center of our solar system, even reaching Pluto would mean you've covered less than 5% of the distance to its edge. Ton 618 resides about 18.2 billion light-years away from us, straddling the border between the constellations Canes Venatici and Coma Berenices. And yet, despite its awe-inspiring enormity, this cosmic giant was initially mistaken for a faint blue star when it was first spotted in a 1957 survey from the Tonantzintla Observatory in Mexico. Now that we know about the existence of black holes and the biggest one we found, let's dive deeper into the story of Ton 618. Hold on to your hats as we journey through space and time, unraveling the mysteries of the universe, one black hole at a time, at a... The discovery of Ton 618 is a fascinating tale of astronomical detective work. Picture this. It's the late 1950s and astronomers are conducting a survey from the Tonantzintla Observatory in Mexico. Amidst the vastness of the cosmos, a faint blue star catches their attention. But this was no ordinary star, it would take a decade of meticulous observations and analysis to reveal the true nature of this celestial body. A ton 618 as it came to be known was no star at all. Instead, it was a massive black hole, a monstrous entity with an estimated weight of 40 billion solar masses. To put that into perspective, one solar mass is equivalent to the mass of our sun. So, imagine 40 billion suns compacted into a single point in space, that's ton 618. And its size? Oh, it's colossal. With a radius exceeding 1,000 astronomical units, ton 618 is so large that, if it was placed in the center of our solar system, reaching Pluto would mean you've traversed less than 5% of the distance from the black hole's center to its edge. Now, where in the cosmos does this behemoth reside? Ton 618 sits approximately 18.2 billion light years away from us teetering on the border between the constellations Canes Venetici and Coma Berenices. A light year as you might know is the distance light travels in a year, and light is the fastest thing in the universe. So ton 618 is really really far away, but ton 618 is not just a black hole, it's also a quasar, one of the brightest objects in the universe. And we'll delve into that radiant aspect of ton 618 in the next scene. For now, let's marvel at the incredible journey of discovery that led us to this celestial titan. A journey that reminds us of our endless quest for understanding the cosmos. What makes Ton 618 even more special is the fact that it powers a quasar. Quasars are among the brightest objects in the cosmos, outshining even galaxies. They draw their intense light from the gravitational energy of the central black hole. Now, let's imagine the process. Material surrounding the black hole falls in, and as it does, it compresses and heats up, releasing enormous amounts of radiation. To put it in perspective, the illuminating power of a quasar like Ton 618 equals a staggering 140 trillion suns. While events like supernovas can momentarily outshine quasars, their brilliance is fleeting, lasting only a few weeks. Quasars, on the other hand, can shine brilliantly for millions of years. That's the power of a feeding supermassive black hole. So, when we look at Ton 618, we're actually seeing a black hole in the midst of a cosmic feast. Quasars are supermassive black holes that are feeding, but what sets the limit on the size of a black hole? The size of a black hole is determined by its feeding rate. Supermassive black holes, like Ton 618, grow not only by merging with other black holes, but also by constantly feeding on surrounding material. However, these cosmic vacuum cleaners have a self-regulating process that prevents them from growing too quickly. 
As material is drawn in, it heats up and releases radiation, which in turn, heats the material itself. This heating creates a sort of traffic jam, slowing the rate at which material can fall into the black hole. By taking this feeding rate and multiplying it by the known age of the universe, astronomers can estimate a maximum mass for a black hole. The figure they've come to is around 50 billion solar masses, give or take. But remember, this is only an estimate. The universe is vast, mysterious, and ever surprising. While Ton 618 is currently the largest black hole we've discovered, there may be even more massive black holes waiting to be found.